Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fale and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for Saturday, October 1st, 2016. I hope your weekend is good. We are having a moon in Gemini sextiling Saturn if you are in Europe in the morning time. It's a great time for work if you are working on this weekend or for spending time with the elderly or with people with a higher rank than you are. Um, but from a little later on, let's say from around 1400 hours Central European time, that's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The sky is a lot more turbulent with a square between the moon and Pluto. We can become overly dramatic and our whole emotional world is not as stable as we would like it to be. We could be very reactive and we need to see that this, un this lava, this emotional lava that flows underneath our surface would not burn anybody in our vicinity. The sun is Queen Kongsing Neptune and Mercury is opposing Neptune. This could be a day in which we feel a little lost, we feel a little insecure, we don't know which way is the right way or what decision we should be making. This is not a good day to make any long-term decisions and we should be aware of these influences and just try and let tranquility resonate and keep the words and the thoughts flowing above us like clouds in the sky and not get entangled in too much of the havoc that we can have within our um, emotional logical emotional logical spheres the interaction there today could not be so positive Venus, what is positive is that Venus is still trining Neptune and Mars is trining Ceres. This could be a time of great romance in our relationships, of sympathy, of empathy, of sensitivity in our relationships. And we could actually build support systems that last us for a very long time with this Mars in Capricorn trining Ceres. Saturn is squaring the nodes for the next few days. This is not more than a few days. <laughs> and this is a time in which all our actions are measured. How we grew up, did we become older and wiser? And are the things that we have been working on actually proven useful? If they were, then they would be strengthened. If they weren't, they would disassemble from our lives and we would have to understand that they have no place in our future. So I want to thank you for listening. This is everything for today. I hope you continue to have a wonderful weekend. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.